Hey everyone, welcome back to RJK English. We're starting a new series. This is for advanced English or academic English. Um, we are going through this book um, uh, called Creation. It's by one of the most famous writers uh, in, um, in the US. Uh, he's dead now. His name was Gore Vidal, quite a strange name. He was related to people in politics. Uh, there's a famous um, documentary about him and William F. Buckley and their, uh, their um, debates on TV and how that changed the face of television here. Very smart guy. Um, I, and I really love this book. So creation, um, if you look at the cover, I, I want to always push you to think about how, um, how to read a book how to approach a book. You start with its cover. Okay, what is this on the cover? If you're from the West, you probably know it right away because you saw it in your books and they stuffed it down your throat your whole life. Uh, this is the Persian um, emperor, I believe, was it Darius? I think it was Darius being um, routed by Philip, which was, uh, or was he routed by Philip? No, he was routed by the Greeks um and uh alexander the great afterwards um went after these uh the persians to defeat their empire okay uh so it's something about the greeks and maybe something about the persians okay i'm gonna skip this and now let's look at what's next so let me spread this out a little bit more oops Okay, so now we're looking at a map of, see, uh, Greece up here. Here's Athens. It's a little bit set on a slant. Um, here's the Persian Empire at the time of Darius. So we're going back in time here. Here's India. What would have been India at that time? Here's the Punjab and Gandhara, which was a uh, Buddhist um, and so this is after the Buddha or it's during, um, it's a little weird. It's Gandhara. So yeah, I guess it would be after, um, here is, so if you look on here, it's saying it has a box around here because it's going to show a close up. here is Greece. So here's Athens right here. See Athens in Attica. I've been there once. It's awesome. Um, and I've been to see where where is it it's right along here uh Rhodes Rhodos right here I've been to this um and then we get a picture of China or it's Cathay or Cathay I don't know how they say it in Tibet so it seems to be about Greece Persia maybe Arabia that's in here too and um maybe India because that's in here and um, up into Tibet and China. Okay, so that's reading a book. What's it about? Um, the reason I think you will like this is this book is about the Axial Age. What is the Axial Age? So in ancient times, um, we had temple systems. So, you know, there was a great temple. You went and you sacrificed animals there. Uh, for the greater good of the society. And um, there wasn't much of a focus on the individual. It was about you belonging to the group. Then there was a sudden switch. And all of a sudden you have very internal religion where people and philosophy, where people are thinking about the individual and the individual's relation to the universe. Very different. In Christianity, you have the Hebrew Bible, which is not very much about the individual. It's more about the temple. It's more about law. And then with uh, the Christian texts, all of a sudden you're talking about the individual and their relation to God, much more so than in the Hebrew Bible. Um, sorry, you can't see me. I guess I should show up here. One second. Much more than in the Hebrew Bible. Um, same thing with India. 
you know um so we're talking about the axial age the buddha is a big part of the axial age for me personally i think the upanishads in india and the buddha are what changed all of this but i'm reading some other books that are saying something different so this is going to cover um greece and uh, the beginnings of philosophy, Persia, which is the seat of the Persian Empire and Zoroastrianism, which was the first monotheism, uh, basically. And then also China with uh, Lao Tzu, I'm not going to say their names correctly according to Mandarin, um, Lao Tzu and, uh, let's see, Lao Tzu and Confucius. It's covering all of these, and they all happened at the same time, around the same time. So it was this huge change in the world where all of a sudden people started thinking differently. And who is going to be the subject of this? It's going to be, of course, a someone from the dying and the dying Persian Empire. Of course, the Persians continued on after this, but the empire um, really died down. Um, after uh, their fight with the Greeks, and especially after Alexander, um, uh, the, it really struck at the Persian Empire. They, they came back. Persians have had a great um, uh, effect on the world, a great influence. Um, but I think this will be quite interesting. What we'll do is we're going to read through it. So I don't know how long this is going to take. It's somewhat of a thick book. Um, you can see it here. Um, but we're going to take a shot at it, and you're going to look at how books are written. You're going to read a book in English. You can also go back to Siddhartha, much smaller book. Um, we read through that. You can look at the playlist and go through Siddhartha. And through it, you're going to read a whole book in English. Okay? Um, but we're going to go travel the world, and you're going to learn about Persia and Zoroastrianism as well. You're, the key for Westerners is it gets us out of the mindset of thinking that Greece is the center of everything. This is coming from the point of view of a Persian. And that's very good for the West to see it that way. Now, it's written by a Westerner. So, of course, you know, he's, a his, he's also a historian. Um, I think you could call him that. So um, I think it's quite interesting. It's quite interesting to think about. Hopefully you will like it. We're going to start the next session uh, by going through uh, uh, the first chapter, first part. And it's Herodotus gives a reading at the Odeon in Athens. Herodotus is the first historian, uh, maybe. I'm, he's credited as the first historian. I have his book over there. It's, um, it's a book of history. A lot of it is complete craziness. You know, like in India, they have people with no neck or crazy stuff like that. But it was his try at at history. Um, he's giving a reading about the about the wars, and the uh, the Persian saw that war from the other side and is reacting a certain way. So it's really quite a comical way that Gorbidal starts this book out. So I think you're going to enjoy this. I'm going to enjoy it because I like literature a lot and i will enjoy going through it with you we will look at um some grammar we will look at um how uh literature is written um how to interpret literature and we'll learn together so anyways i hope uh to see you back and i hope we can go through all of this together if you know other people that might be interested in this make sure to let them know. I need more people subscribing. If I get more subscribers, I'll be able to really up the production value here and, and offer more. So I'll see you next time.